Welcome to Geek Blasphemy, the show where players say the most blasphemous statements that you wouldn't say on the Discord. I'm your host, Deuces, and today we're going to introduce our players and jump into this show. So I'm going to start off with my homie. You know him. Everybody's seen him. The homie Big Baby, Darren Brand. How you doing, brother? What's happening? What's happening, man? What's happening? Let's do this. Let's get into it. Blasphemy. Oh, just ready, just ready to get into it, huh? Blasphemy shit. Because it's a lot of... There's a lot of fools on here, and I just want to hear what kind of fool them shit we really going to hear today. Oh yeah, we I, that's that, that's what I love about this show. People are going to say yeah. some crazy shit. So because like, I remember I, I, I did a Bastard episode one time, and they had to delete the comments. It was so bad. So I'm just glad <laughs> to be back. Well, it, it, I, don't know, I don't know if y'all remember that. My shit, it was bad, bro. It mm-hmm. was like. Nigga was like sending me like, come on! I was like, yeah, y'all take it too deep. Let's do it. In, in geek culture, you know, they get they get very yeah. passionate about these these hot takes. All right, so yeah. let's get to our next person, man. The homie Kanise, man. How you doing, bro? Man, doing good. You know, just caught the new camera just for this. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, Osama, bro. How you doing, bro? Um, quick question: What is the Discord? <laughs> <laughs> It's a great question. Hey, don't play with me. Question. Don't play with me. Hey, 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 Drake. Hey, Drake. I, hey, Drake. I, I was going to let it ride. Nah, y'all scared. I'm not scared. I'm a man, damn it. I'm a man. <laughs> so the Discord, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of it's kinda like a private I'm, chat for like your community. So, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, for y'all, you can have all your, all your, all your fans and your supporters in one place being able to chop it up with each other. Hey, hey, don't go English language on me. Bust it down for me. Give me Ebonics. Don't, don't, uh uh-uh. uh. All right. So, okay, I'll bust it down. It's a kickback. It's pretty much a digital kickback. There we go. There you go. There you go. It's, it's mad wild. You was like, I'm a man, and your locks was just swinging on the side like that, real. But I mean, that, that's neither here nor there. Go ahead, King. <laughs> and I, last, I'm you later. last but certainly, certainly not least, we have the homie Clint Coley. Man, how you doing, bro? I went to an Ivy League school. I'm smarter than y'all. <laughs> Yo, since, did you graduate? You didn't since... graduate. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did. Uh, so, <laughs> as y'all can see, man, we have some amazing guests right now, some amazing personalities. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over the game, and we're going to get into all the categories and everything so that way we can get this right. So I don't like the fact that I don't like the fact that Clint like he just did yoga. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, so players will be given four categories as you see displayed on the screen. Right, you will have to choose between video games, anime, movies and TV, and comic books. After you select your category, players will choose between levels one and three. And each level is worth a certain amount of points. And you gain these by figuring out who said this blasphemous statement that we're going to see. Now, you will have two minutes to interrogate all the other players and figure out who said this statement. And after the time runs out, players will call out the person they believe said this statement. Now, if you get it wrong, the points you choose get cut in half. And then you get one more try. Now, if you get that last try wrong, then unfortunately, you get no points. Now, the accused player will tell us whether or not they are the person that said this so don't forget we like bring the dramatics i mean i don't think i have to tell you guys that as you guys can see everybody's already on point now if the player is correct they will win the level and the person with the most points will be the winner and we'll go on to our highlight reel the highlight reel will allow the winner one minute to say their most blasphemous statement and explain without any reactions from the other players everybody's going to be mute so it's going to be a lot of people screaming on the inside depending on what this hot take is going to be but is everybody y'all got the y'all got the points i mean uh, the y'all got the points of the show and everything right? we're ready yes we're ready. All right. we're ready so we are going to go get into it right now so darren you are first what category are you picking Give me movies and TV, um, and give me the three hundred. Mm. Movies and TV for the three hundred. Coming out the rip, out the gate. Yeah. Trying to, trying to right. three hundred on the board. All right, so Will, let's get that first blasphemous statement, and let's get this timer on the board. All right, coming to America two was funnier than the original. Oh hell no! <laughs> I know. I know. 
<laughs> Listen, I, I, uh, Soldier Slim, we just met today. We just met today. <laughs> hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before Soldier. you get into it, all right, let's go. Call that nigga Soldier Slim. What? <laughs> now go. Oh, get, get stop the interrogation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, Soldier Slim. I just met you today, okay? And there's hey, no man. way in this earth, on this world, that it would ever come out of either one of these comics' mouths over here. That 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 coming to that coming to America too is built. Because if because if it is one of them, I can no I can no longer associate with them for the rest of my life. <laughs> and if it is one of them, I'm gonna be extremely, extremely hurt. Osama, would you ever say anything like this? No. This, this is my interrogation, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah, you're, you're interrogating. But here's yeah. the thing: if you if you ask somebody for them to say their answer, that is you choosing. So you just gotta ask oh. them questions, yeah, until you. And then when you when you are ready to make your final answer, that's when you when you say. So don't okay. flat out ask somebody, "Did you say?" Because if they answer, then that's taking away one of your your choices. I got you, Clinton. Did yep. you ever? Did you even see coming to America too? No, I I, I didn't make it through. <laughs> hmm. God damn! <laughs> my my homie Nav was in the movie. Shout out to Nav Green. Oh, shout, shout out to Nav. Nav. Shout out to shout Nav. Out shout, Nav. Out Nav. Shout, out, shout out Nav. Shout out Nav so just, Green. Show to so show to Slim. How old are you? <laughs> I am thirty five years old. Mm. Mm. Yep. That's just like yeah. a thirty five year old. That's just a <laughs> thirty five year old. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I need much time. I think uh. Bro said it. All right. So we are going with uh Kanice. Kanice, yeah, bro. Kanice. Kanice. Yeah. Did you say it? I did. I ain't gonna lie. I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. Yes, he did. Of course you said it. Let me tell you why, though. Let me tell you why. Okay. I, I don't want to hear what the fuck I you got to say about why. I really don't want to hear this either, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most this is and I knew it, bro. I knew it, bro. There's no <laughs> way it would come out of it. The, there's no way. Go ahead. What's your reason why? It had to be said. I look as a Nigerian and I grew up on Eddie Murphy. All I was talked about was coming to America, the way they talked and everything like that. And now on this one, it was actually I think they had Nigerians in it. It was actually Nigerian culture. I was like, I'll fuck with this. The line was a little too far. But I was like, I fuck with this. This was closer to the culture than that. And that's why I said it. That's the only you look like, you look like you're from Virginia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from Nigeria. From yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Run, me my, run me my points, man. I knew I yeah. knew, why, knew Kenny said it. I knew Kenny said yo, it. Why you pronounce your words so good? <laughs> <laughs> yo! Yeah. All right. <laughs> nah. You you need to speak in your accent very soon. I, I learned it on the Discord. They they taught me. You learned it on the Discord. Here we go. What's the Discord? Here we go. All right. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, Darren, you won that round. Got your points. All right. So, Kanice, you are actually up next. So, right. now I need to know which category are you going with? I need to go video game. Video games. How many points you betting on yourself? I'm going to do 200. 200. 200. All right. 200. Video games for 200. All right. So let's see the video game blasphemous statement. All right. Dreamcast was better than PlayStation 2. Ooh. I This this has been a discourse on, on the timeline for a minute, too. All right. So let's get that clock running. Kanice, go ahead and start your interrogation, bro. First of all, I'm going to say, whoever said this, I agree with you. That's straight up. Because I used to play NBA 2K on that. You feel what I'm saying? With Iverson on the cover. I remember that. Hell. Up on that. <laughs> PlayStation, 2, PlayStation 2 was not like that. Crash Bandicoot was not like that. Twisted Metal 3 was not like that. Dreamcast ended too soon. So, let me see. Oh, Osama. 
have you ever owned a Dreamcast? No. <laughs> giving that nigga nothing. Hell no. Clint. Clint. Yes. Have you ever played Zelda? That was never mind. Have yeah, you I was ever about to say. Played, have you ever played Sonic? Period. Or anything? Yes, I've played Sonic. Damn. Got 40 seconds, bro. This is an awful interrogation. Damn. Damn. Ain't it? Damn. Damn. Do you own a PS5, a PS4, or a PS3? PS4. Do you own a Dreamcast? Mm, no. Do you own a Dreamcast, uh, Clint? You said what? Do I own one? Have you ever owned a Dreamcast? Is it do you own one or have you ever owned one? Ten seconds. Oh. Yes, I had I owned one when I was a kid. Dan, you? Did I say it? Did you own one? All right. It time's up, bro. You gotta you gotta make a choice. All right. I know uh Osama ain't do it. Uh he, he definitely ain't do that shit because uh, he wasn't playing Dreamcast. He's playing guitar. So I know my nigga, I think. I'm gonna have to go with Darren. Darren said it. Darren. All right. Darren, did you say it? No, but I agree. Oh, PlayStation 2? Nah. Yeah, but you nah, didn't say it, though, right? I ain't say it, nah. All right. So now yo, yo, you at you at 100 points because you get to choose. Now you got to choose between Sama and Clint. Clint, did you say it? Absolutely, I said it. Wow! <laughs> and I and I and, and I'm gonna go a step further. I still own my Dreamcast today. Yeah. Wow. So I had, a, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a Dreamcast. I just didn't. I just don't know where it's at. This one of yeah, those blasphemous I, statements that's not so blasphemous. But Clint, explain your reasoning why Dreamcast so, was better than PlayStation Two. The main reason was the memory card. The memory card. They had a visual memory <laughs> unit. You could stick the memory card inside your, your Dreamcast with the screen. And I used to play NFL 2K. You could call your plays on the on the jaw so your, your opponent couldn't see what you was doing. To me, yeah. that was before his time. It was the first, it was the first one with the internet. Um, and yeah, I just I, you know, to me it was just a it was just a better system. Mm -hmm. PlayStation just came out a year later and wiped the floor with it. Yeah. But, so, and, and quiet is kept to Clint's point. PlayStation Two, out of all the Playstations, is the is the least favorite PlayStation. PS Three, PS Three is the least. I, I don't know. PS Three, PS Three, PS Two was game changer, man. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I kind of disagree with that. Look, hey, hey, dudes, quit with the blasphemy and host the game, bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you right. You right. My bad. It's you right. My bad. So, Osama, you are actually our next person. I need to know which category you going with, bro. I'm gonna go something somebody else saying. Go. Let, let's go. Let's go. Comic books. Comic books. How much you betting on yourself? Three hundred. Three hundred. Comic books for the three hundred. All right. Let's get that blasphemous statement on the screen. All right, low key. Back in lane it's the Let's go ahead and get that timer on. And uh go ahead and start the interrogation, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, Camille, Camille, have you seen the Batman movies? I've seen them all. You like them? Uh not the last one as much. But pretty much the other ones you like. Except uh, the one with Val Kilmer. Word. Who's your favorite Batman? Uh, Christian Bane. Stop right there. Okay, Darren. <laughs> yeah. Darren, you seen all the Batman? All of them. Who's your favorite Batman? Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. I'm a, I, and hold on, I'm gonna round it out because that's my favorite Batman too. What? Christian Bale is your favorite. He was like that. 
But I also yeah. like the one. Um, I also Wait, like hold on, one. hold on, hold on. I got hold on, hold on. I got hey, it too. That's all hey, Clint, I Clint, Clint, what don't you like about Batman? Um, white privilege. Uh, only you know, uh, this guy's a billionaire. He could, and you, you mean to tell me you get to run around in a goddamn suit all night and do what the fuck you want? And then act okay. like, it, yeah. Stop right there, Clint. Darren, tell me what you don't like about Batman. Bro, I have to say white privilege too, bro. You like the nigga ain't got no real. Stop right there. Stop right there. <laughs> Kenise, tell me what you don't like about Batman. He's a billionaire and was chasing the weakest bitch the whole time. Every time. <laughs> All his hoes are weak. What? what? That's your man. Like his hoes? Like his hoes? Like his hoes? Like Batman never had a good a good bitch. Hey, the, hey, the, hey, the, hey, Clint, Clint, Clint. That that uh, who man? Huh? All right, I'm just gonna stop my interrogation right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, I'm gonna go with Clint. Clint, did you say it? Nope. And I'm gonna tell you Clint. why I didn't say it. Uh -huh. Saying like I, I'm from Philly, we don't talk like that. Boom, boom, Darren, you said it. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how I knew Darren said it because of how it was written. I exactly. read it I, I, when I said it. I said this sounds like Batman. Yeah, yeah. I, that, hey, yeah. I agree. Though. I agree. All right, hey, so. Hold on, let, let's let's let Darren speak. Darren, why do you believe Batman is low key lame as hell? Bro, Clint said everything, bro. He's a white man, billion dollars. He got all these fucking tools and gadgets. The nigga gets his ass whooped all the time, and all of a sudden he just heals all the time. But he's not a mutant, bro. It makes no sense how many times this nigga has been ribs broken, shoulder dislocated. Like he really should be in a wheelchair or some kind of walking service by now. You, you, you ain't here for his plot armor, huh? <laughs> bruh, I just, bro, come on, bro. The nigga, like, he's the only superhero with no powers. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Even the Punisher got some kind of power. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> All right. So, Clint, you are our next person, bro. Which, cate which category are you picking? See everybody. Did. All right, nobody did anime. I'm not really an anime guy, but you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Give me anime for the three. Anime for the three, Hunter. All right, let's get nah, that last misstatement up on I, the screen. I think we all probably said the same thing for anime. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anime is for weirdo. <laughs> Wait a minute. How you come on Yo. Geek Blasphemy and it calls the geeks the weirdo? All right. All right. Let me, let's, let's. All right. All right. Let's get the, let's get the timer on. All right, Clint, go ahead and start your interrogation. Real quick. Hey, Darren, what are your favorite, give me your top five cartoons all time. Cartoons? Your favorite, your top five cartoons. Doug, Rugrats, Recess. X Men. Okay, I don't need to hear no more. That's it. You are good? Uh, uh, Kenise. Yeah. What are your favorite cartoons of all time? Uh, Batman Beyond, X Men, Ninja Turtles, um, Rugrats, and Hey Arnold. So three of those are kind of like pre-anime. So I think you like anime, to be honest with you. Uh. <laughs> Osama, what are your favorite cartoons? Uh, Transformers. Thundercats. Thundercats. God damn. Uh, hey, boy, Thundercats is off the chain. Hey, it was. I got, got done. Uh, uh, I said it's G.I. Joe. Got done. He-Man was jumping. Mm, he -Man was jumping. <laughs> and, and just because nobody didn't say them, I'm going to get DuckTales. It was junk. Uh, all right. right. So you know Ooh. what? I'm I'm ready to go ahead and just make my decision. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe Osama. Did you say anime is for weirdos? I damn sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> the deadpan look. The deadpan look. I knew it. I knew as soon as he said G.I. Joe, I'm like, oh, this nigga don't fuck with no goddamn anime. <laughs> All right, so Sama, explain, bro. Why do you feel that anime is for weirdos, man? Why they got to dress like that? Why do they dress like that? They be out in public trying to do the moves of the anime people and stuff. Look. Look. Yeah. yeah, yeah, brother. They be really be powering up in real life. No, no. All right. I'm here to give a disclaimer. Not all anime fans do that shit. I ain't never hey, did that. I, ain't, I ain't never powered exactly. up a day in my life. G. You got too many people doing it, bro. I, 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 I remember I got into a fight with this kid in seventh grade, and he definitely hit me with the and got his ass whooped. <laughs> He got his ass whooped. That motherfucker hey. thought he was Vegeta. Hey, dude, right. hey, dude, hey, dude, you better fight for your community. Bro, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, how y'all gonna come on geek blasphemy? And then... And that's the blasphemy and they, statement. And they day. kill the whole community, G. Like, hey, man, don't, hey, don't cut he it off, me. He ain't in the distance. All right. That's what it was. All right, so thank you for checking out an episode of Geek Blasphemy. I appreciate all my guests coming through, and I want to give them their opportunity to close out and let people know where they can follow you and where they can support you at. So we're going to go ahead in the same order. Start off with Darren. Go ahead and let the people know, bro. Hey, man, check me out on IG, Darren Brand underscore, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, all of that. Uh, going on the road soon. Check me out on, check me out on the, um, IG so you can see the tour dates. Appreciate y'all. Much love, as always. Last few hits. We coming soon. Another platform. Hey, all right. Kanis, man, you are up next. Let us know where we can follow you at and how we can support you. All right. So, uh, Kanis, one K, that's C-A-N-I-C-E, one zero zero K, 100,000, you know, instead of being 3K like Andre, I'm 100,000. And you can support me on my podcast. It's on all stream platforms and YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. You can see the clips. It's called I Might Get Canceled. So, uh, yeah, so it's basically a continuation of this. <laughs> All right. Osama been drinking, bro. Let them people know how they can follow you and what they can support you on. Hey, you know, you can follow me at Osama been drinking on IG, Twitter, everything like that. Uh, last few hits, the podcast. We've been down for a couple of weeks, but hey, moving to a new platform, whatnot. We'll see you. We'll be back real soon. And uh, catch me on the road with Chico B. Nice, nice. All right, Clint, you the last person. Roll us out, man. How can people follow you and where they can, what they can support you on? Hey, man, you can follow me uh, at Clint Coley, C-L-I-N-T-C-O-L-E-Y. That's on all platforms. Nothing changes. Everything's the same. Um, also, where you can support me, two things. First thing is follow uh, Music is the Love Language. That's the name of my podcast. We just deb debate music all day, every day. Uh, we're one of the newest podcasts on the Revolt Podcast Network. You can check us out on Revolt TV. You can check us out on the Revolt app. And or not us, it's me. You know what I'm saying. And then last but not least, man, I got a new. I got a, my very first half hour comedy special dropping November 16th on Amazon Prime called My Edible Kicked In. So hey. yeah, man, check me out, man. Yes, check me sir. out, man. That's so dope, bro. That's so. Thank dope, you, man. Bro. Appreciate y'all, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're gonna get into our first winner of today's game darren brand being our victor we welcome you to our highlight reel now you will have one minute to say your blasphemous statement and explain with let well, I me mean, explain why with no interruptions so we're gonna get you on the screen all right i think that's it let's go <laughs> i don't care if they're muted or what because i stand for it okay and i'm gonna say it i'm gonna stand on it and be proud and i, I believe i discussed this on last few hits and other platforms but i'm gonna continue to say it here Next Friday is better than Friday, and I stand on it. Day Day was a better sidekick to Ice Cube than Smokey was. Complimented him way more. Wait, there's way more repeatable lines from Next Friday that you can quote right now from Day Day alone. Fat bitch, you supposed to be two hundred dollars from my house. Classic. She had a car drinking bacon burger. I wanted a piece of it. Classic. The bitch sell just do hair and babysit at the same house. Classic. He slid the cookie down the windshield. It's out the rapper, so you get to it fast. Classic. Day Day has countless lines at the line. Smokey got um well around here between Harmony and West. You got that, you got the chicken coop, yes. But Day Day, next Friday, uh uh Chico, run, look at my roof, look at my roof. Them tens, but I keep them clean though. Classic. I stand on it. Yes, Friday set the tone, but out of the Friday franchise, 
next Friday is the best Friday out of all the Fridays. Thank you for watching Geek Blasphemy, and now it's your time to get your shit off. Let us know in the comments down below your most blasphemous geeky statement, or agree with something that you heard from today, or better yet, rebuttal what you heard from today. But don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything from the Arcade Tokens page. Until next time, deuces out.